Welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl, Rika. A big boy Sam here, bringing you another episode of I'm Standing on a Million Lives. You know what it is. Let's get right into it. I did not see it coming that Yuka was going to be the one that actually saved everybody's lives. <laughs> it was actually a shock that Yatsu ended up dying, and it was all out of nowhere like the the fact that she got saved right at the end i don't think i was happy with any of that to be honest well we found out that yuka is seven bells are crazy we found out that yotsura isn't good enough to carry the team all the time and we found out that the other two are just the other two no you found out those things because i've been saying this from time I already said that Yatsuya can't keep doing this alone and he needs to have more reliance on other people. Someone else needs to be picking up the slack, it can't just be him all of the time. It's obvious he is good at a lot of things but he is not good at everything. Also, Yuka isn't really crazy, I mean the conditions she was under, that would make anyone start to hallucinate. She was very close to actually dying, so that's to be expected. <laughs> yeah this episode i don't know it didn't it didn't do much for me i thought it started off on a bad note as well with that whole imagine her girls i thing. know i was thinking oh god please don't let the whole episode be like i mean if you ask ruka i literally thought that i accidentally pressed the wrong anime and i was about to see what the hell was going on but going through it i was like okay and then the ending as well felt a bit convoluted don't worry, just jump on my magical beast. It didn't feel entirely earned. It didn't feel entirely correct. Yeah, I'm feeling the same sort of bad vibes from this episode. And I feel like they've ruined a good chunk of episodes that have come before it a little bit for me. Uh, I was also getting the same kind of feeling also in the last episode as well because although we did get some information in the last episode it was really mostly filler and this episode as well just seemed it felt like they were thinking okay this is an anime so we have to make it to 12 episodes and so they just filled in a bunch of stuff. We haven't seen anybody else be a magic user in this world. Most people fight with swords so it just felt out of place because they didn't give us any other reference points in the rest of the anime. So I, I wasn't really appreciating that too much. We finally had confirmation for what this world is. Yuka actually asked a good question. Is this a virtual world? And we found out that it is not a virtual world. It's an alternate reality um, or a parallel universe. And Yatsua actually killed a real person. He seemed really upset by this, but to me, I was kind of thinking, what difference does it make? What difference does it make that it was a real person that he killed? Who cares? He said it himself. Not all life is equal, innit? So, and I'm not going to lie, the guy deserves to die. So, like, all three of them deserve to go. There's no issue here. As you said, so what? You did what you had to do to make sure you didn't die. And that's the same with anyone. No offence. If I had to choose between myself or someone else, it's always me. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't feel um, the same way like you're saying if it's me or someone else. I feel like that's a slightly different scenario. But this is someone who was actively trying to kill you. As far as I'm concerned, in a situation like that, you don't even, you're not even thinking fully logically well you are thinking logically but i mean you, you don't have the time to think and weigh up the options because your survival instinct immediately starts to kick in someone is trying to kill me i need to defend myself and make sure that i can make it out alive and although they do this in movies where the person just knocks the other person out and leaves the weapon right next to them and then runs off and then they end up getting caught again in a real life situation, you're going to have to completely fight it out. Yes, okay, you might feel upset about it because at the end of the day, it is a life, but am I going to be regretting it? I don't think I would regret it because I'd die otherwise. Like, it's, it's a very extreme situation and I don't think I would regret something like that. I wouldn't regret killing that dude at all. I wouldn't regret it. He was trying to kill them. They already attempted to kill them. They would have tried to kill them again. 
so what yeah um for me i this might make me sound evil but i'm gonna say it anyways look even if the situation where he tried to kill me didn't exist but he was in the way of the quest that will send me home i'd still dead him damn because at the end of the day my aim is to get home to see my family do you know what i mean my aim is to get home and be safe and if you're standing in the way of that and I have to drop you like a sack of potatoes in order to do it, so be it. I'm a shank in your heart. Wow. I'm going to carry on. But even in Yotsua's case, where it was slightly ve- one part vengeance and three parts, you know, removing the obstacle, the vengeance alone was good enough. You left him for dead in a dungeon that you thought was going to take his life. And killed his would-be friend. And killed his friends, from. That's it. Bro, you deserve to be deaded from. That's it. I grew up at ends. I'm just saying. That that mentality is okay with me. Actually, if Yatsua was not a hero, he would have also died in that situation. He would have died almost immediately after they tricked them. So they also caused his death. Like That could have been a real permanent thing if he was a normal person. So, I mean, this is going to just have to be something Yatsu is going to have to get over. He's going to have to get over it quick because now he's going to be hesitating before he does things. When he actually saw those three little baby monsters as well, he actually said, oh, well, you guys are virtual anyway, so it doesn't matter. So now he probably is even going to have feelings towards them as well. Like, oh my God, I can't, I can't do certain things. It's going to make him get stuck in place if he doesn't deal with this issue and just say do you know what it's still the cost of doing business it's still something that just has to happen get your box of tissues boohoo it out and move on bruv because that's what you gotta do because the quest ain't over this is only quest number four and you got about ten since the girls are good for nothing else Woo! this is their chance to now support him no i'm sorry we get this with a lot of different animes where it seems like they just don't know how to write uh, a strong female anime character and they're just pretty useless Sakura chan exactly <laughs> exactly if you want a good female anime though watch our hot or not about um other side picnic those are good female characters shameless plug <laughs> <laughs> So guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Before we end this, I just want to say I was right. Yatsua fell down that cavern. It was like an underground tunnel. Unfortunately, most of the pathways were blocked off, but that was because of the um, the creatures that were down there. Not a natural occurrence, but it, it was a tunnel system. <laughs> uh, but catch us on the next one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Peace.